Hi folks, so Man United lose to Copenhagen. Yeah. Yeah. Fans are phoning up uh, TalkSport Live and yeah. And making the normal excuses talking about where the players aren't good enough. Etc. etc. Saying it shouldn't have been a red card to Rashford. Yeah, okay. But red cards happen. Teams have to know how to handle such things. That's that's up to the coaches to make sure they know how to play with 10 men or 9 men. They should have to know how to do that. That's up to the manager and the coaches to make sure they know how to do that. And as to the players not being, not being good enough. Ten Hag is supposed to be a top coach. His job is to make the players better. If he's a top coach, he's going to make the players better. In the first season, people were saying he's made Delo better. They're saying he's made Wambasaka better. They were saying he made Shaw better. They were saying he made Rashford better. Well, the reality is, no, he didn't. When new managers get in, or come in, sometimes the players play better, or some players just play better. Because they have a bit more freedom to do so. That doesn't mean that the managers made the player better. Certainly that can be said for Delo, Wambasaka and Shaw. Rashford, well, Rashford had an awful season beforehand and so he was due to have a tiny bit of a purple patch because that's, how, that's what Rashford is. He's a purple patch player. Yeah, he'd be awful for most of the season and then have a few weeks where he shines and then everybody just remembers that. Yeah. Because fans like to focus on the positive if they can. And so, bit in the game again. Yeah, okay. Rashford gets sent off. Whether it should have been a red card or not, doesn't matter because it was. You just have to deal with it. And, yeah, what the team should have done at that point in time was saying, okay, let's shut it down. The team scored from Rashford being sent off. So, okay. Or straight afterwards. So, okay. Uh, they were 2-1 up. Shut it down from that point. Don't concede anything else. Hit them on the break. And just try and use your, your speedy players to do that. And, you yeah, know, focus on that. Okay. They had Ramos Hoyland doing the work up front. He was pressing. He was running, he was doing all of that and doing a good job of it. Yeah. United went, instead of actually doing that really, they, they kept pressing and they kept trying to score more goals. They got another goal, so they went through to that. And then, more defensive errors. Because again, okay, you've got Dallo playing on the left. Why? You've got a player called Regulon, who certainly was up until you know, last week available to play. So, no idea. Um, but there you go, is what it is. But this is the point. If we have a manager who's a good manager, then we should be expecting better tactical decisions with regards to substitutions and how he's setting his team out. And certainly, if the team go a player down, they should know how to deal with that. They should be coached to know how to deal with that. And he should be actually sending out a change of tactics, you know, telling the players what to do from the sidelines. Ten Hag normally is a very quiet, laid-back, sat-back manager. He doesn't normally go out and tell the players stuff. But at that point in time, he should be doing that. Of course he should. If he doesn't, well then, again, he's the wrong manager. If he doesn't do that sort of thing, and he needs to, then it means the team is going to suffer when they've got a player down. Because the manager isn't doing anything about it. Right? Even after half-time, they didn't change their tactic. They were still trying to play the ball out from the back. They were still playing a relatively high line. 
you know, with Anana trying to play the ball out and stuff like that. Yeah, no, no. You're down to 10 men. At 2 1 up, you shut the door. If you can't do it, then then at 3 2 up, you shut the door. If you can't do it, then then at 3 3, you shut the door. They did not shut the door. Well, there you go. That's the point. They weren't able at any point in time to shut the door. Well, if you can't do that, then, especially against Copenhagen, they're not a team that's renowned for a wonderful attack. Not in any way, shape or form. If you cannot shut the door against them, who on earth are you going to shut the door against? You cannot blame the players. The reason why you cannot blame the players is because Ten Hag is supposed to be a good coach. And you cannot blame the owners. Because Ten Hag is the one who's supposed to be coaching the players and sending them out with the right sort of instructions. And when they go a man down, he's supposed to have trained them to know how to deal with that. The owners can't do that. It all comes down to the manager. And for me, he is a dead man walking as a manager of Manchester United. Well, as I say, for me, as soon as he came out and said uh, there was no chance that Man United would play the way we played at Ajax, he should have been fired the next day. For me, as soon as I, as soon as I heard him, that, that's defeat. That's him talking defeat. He had basically given up by that point yeah go back and listen to what he said and yeah to me he pretty much given up he should have been sacked at that point he wasn't and I think okay it may take the board a bit of time to see that this manager needs to be sacked because they've sacked quite a few in the past it may take them a little bit longer to realise that um, but the longer they take the more they're damaging the club by doing so because if he needs to go then he needs to go simple as that and right now we're in a situation where he needs to go he is unable to get this team to play in the way it should be playing and you know it's down to him because you can't say it's the players he's going to be left with these players if he can't do it maybe someone else can so there you go you take care bye